Witam, witam Was w pierwszej tej grze, mianowicie włoskiej, włoskiej, meksykańskiej, no w każdym bądź razie gra pod tytułem Adios. Wcielamy się w farmera, który ma hodowlę świń, ale nie tylko. I jeżeli zostaniesz do końca tego odcinka, e, będziesz to oglądał, dowiesz się, dlaczego nie będzie to zwykły farmer, który ma ubojnie świń. A w tym odcinku... Zobaczmy sobie Czemu nie będziemy Robić właśnie tak Także zaczynamy sobie grę Nowa gra I zaczynamy zabawę Dobra, zobaczymy co dalej. I can't do this anymore. What? This. What? Mornings? No. All of this. You mean the deal? Afraid so. What do you mean? You, you need better pay? Different hours? No, nothing like that. I'm just. You know, done with this. Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You wanna We catch it in go. Miss one for you, yeah? Sure. Here you go. So you uh you done, huh? Yep. You do understand what that means, right? Does it have to mean anything? It doesn't work like that. You know that. Yeah, I must be getting forgetful of my old age. Uh-huh. Nothing I can do to change your mind. I'm afraid not. Hmm. Well, let's go get some coffee. Talk things over. Come on. Albo i nie. Ciało, świnie ciało zjadły. Okej, okay. breakfast, śniadanie. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smells delicious as always. Ah, Sadie was the real cook. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Not much that's better than your home cooked eggs. Hope you don't mind. I left out the bell peppers this time. Mm, can't stand them. No dobra. Mm, może wybierzemy do wujka. Said like peppers. Sadie always liked peppers though, so I put up with them. Not to change the subject, but how long we've been doing this for, you think? Ja nie mogę go teraz zrobić. Fifteen years, just about. Ah, summer of '78. Why we meet? What was it? Needed cash. Needed the scratch. What did you need to scratch for again? Wasn't too popular with the folks back home. Had to make ends meet. And Bill needed surgery you couldn't afford. Yes. Well, here's what I remember. I had a problem that night, and Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem when who should come in through that door but you? Jimmy was always bragging about connections back home. I thought he could help. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other, so he called up Tony. We agreed, made a deal. We all agreed. Ugh. Anyone ever tell you you're no good at making coffee? Sadie did. All the time. Thought you'd have got it better by now. Well, Sadie made the coffee. I made the bacon. Uh, it's good bacon. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I thought pigs were all pink with curly tails. Yorkshires are. Mine are red wattle. American breed. 
not a lot of them out there, you know. That's so. Mm-hmm. Always thought it'd be nice, you know, to raise pigs that was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. Long time ago. Yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> you and me both. So why the Wiles? <laughs> Funny name. Like I said, American breed. Nearly went extinct. Thought I'd do my part to keep them alive. And that tastes good. <laughs> you aren't wrong. You know, the other day, I was reading the paper. Look at you, an intellectual. <sighs> it, maybe. Maybe. Anyways, I read that pigs were as smart as us. Do you believe that? You, uh, going somewhere with this? Nah, just thinking about my food. What's there to think about? Nothing, I suppose. Just never thought about it before. Do you think the pigs know? Know what? That they're food. Oh, pigs don't think like that. How do you know? Because I know pigs. Pigs ain't like us. Well, sure, they're smart. They eat, they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I suppose you do? Every man does. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um, what do you say I accompany you today? How do you reckon? Well, my visits are always so short. Figured I could help you out with some chores. Maybe figure out what's going on with your little sports truck in the garage. As long as you're okay with shoveling manure first. What about your sidekick? Protégé. When I retire, he'll be the man you'll be dealing with. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm, ambitious. Like you, I guess. But, uh, listen. I told you already. I'm quitting. We'll see. Znowu gdzieś idziemy. Idziemy teraz do szopy. Huh. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Happy now. Figured it was just some old shack at first, but every time I asked what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. I have not, no. Tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? Mm -hmm. Ta da! Beautiful, right? Pop machines. Here I figured you had a deep, dark secret. <laughs> we have a deep, dark secret. This here is one of my hobbies. What? Collecting them? Well, sure, I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Is there a point to any hobby? Uh, it depends. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them. I, I fix them up. That's where the real fun is. Zapytam się, czy coś jeszcze chce mi powiedzieć. Look like you want to ask me something. Why pop machines? I like a good soda pop. And the jump from that to having a bunch of machines in a blacked out shed. I used to work at the town library after school. And uh, somebody thought it would be a good idea to put in a pop machine. 50, 51, thereabouts. Anyways, it was cantankerous as these things tended to be especially back then she was the librarian at the time knew i was handy asked me to fix it and you've been fixing pop machines ever since yeah not exactly didn't think much of it for years until after some time i got back from overseas and i was at this junkyard and i i saw a kruger schmidt a what? A Kruger Schmidt. Yeah, I jumble the words. I know probably a uh, French or something. Uh, it sounds German. German. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, it looked so dilapidated that I just had to take it home and, and fix it. Of course, you know how the wife is. 
she just about threw a hissy fit. But I, but I brought her to this here shed and got to work. Fixed her up real nice, hmm? Then what? Had myself a nice pop. <laughs> and then I sold it and figured that was all there was to it. But then there was an auction in town and someone was selling a pair of vendos. Well, I figured, hey, I could fix that too. Uh, and it snowballed from there. <laughs> that it did. But why? It relaxes me. I just, I don't know, soda machines. It's an unusual thing for a man to want to fix. Don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, but when the missus and I would get into fights or when things was bad or I was anxious, well, I don't know. Well, Sadie's sister, when she passed, told me that, uh, told me that it was all right to cry, that it wasn't weakness, that it was okay. I remember sitting there in that empty living room with everyone murmuring and telling me how sorry they were, and I didn't feel like I needed to cry. Didn't you miss her? Of course I did. Still do. But I don't know. Not everybody needs to cry. I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know? Weakness? No. I don't know what she was talking about, weakness. Crying never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. I can't remember the last time I cried. Yeah, maybe that movie about the boy and his dog. Oh, I always cry over that one. Dogs are good. Innocent. Yeah, when a dog dies, that always moves me to tears. Yeah. But Josie insisted. Then she kept insisting. Then, psh, I don't know. I think she got offended I wouldn't cry as if she loved Sadie more than me, and she made me feel like I was that I was something wrong. Of course, that wasn't true. There wasn't nothing wrong with me. I just didn't. I, I didn't. I wasn't like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This is how I grieve. This right here. When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. And I don't know how or why, but it's healing. It's a healing thing, and that's why a man's got to have a hobby. Sorry, I... No. No, it's all right. I, I figured, you know. I figured if someone's got to know, this is my quiet little hobby. A thing I do to help me work out my worries. Well, it looks like you fixed this one up real nice. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Proud of all of them. But I'm proud of this one most. Thank you for taking the time to show me. There's a... Uh, there's another reason I wanted to show this to you. Mm, what's that? If you want it, it's yours. <laughs> what am I going to do with a pop machine? Well, <clears throat> grab yourself a nice, refreshing drink of soda every so often, you big dummy. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I couldn't possibly. Yeah. Please. A little memento of our time together. Oh, Come on, Memento. Let's keep this train rolling. We can work something out. You come on back by, pick up the soda machine. Take it home with you. Or don't. If you really got no use for it, I won't be offended. I'll think it over. What's next? Okay, jump money. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, to be here. Why horseshoes? What do you mean? Uh, it just seems, I don't know, quaint. Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so oh, half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? This is 1992, friend. We got shopping malls for teenagers, restaurants, clubs, whatever. But pool halls? I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Well, time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all that, uh, uh, stimulation. 
Ah, so you play horseshoe. Mm-hmm. Or read a good book, develop photos you took for yourself, go fly fishing. Mm-hmm. It sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home-cooked paradise? That's lonely, too. We could get you a nice place in the city. Ah, never was one for crowds. thought you said you were lonely. I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. Sadie, she, uh, nobody else could really see me, understand what I was. How do you figure? I, uh, what? After Saigon, when I got back, all these people were hugging their loved ones or protesting or whatever, and I don't know. I never felt more alone in all my life. I was home. I should have been happy, and I wasn't. Well, it wasn't a popular war. You lost friends, too, right? Yeah, but uh, when I got home, it, it was dark, and there was Sadie waiting for me. Porch light like a halo around her head. And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Yeah. I, I thought I, I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. I bet all sorts wanted you, especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. You see that house on the hill? Uh, what, the burned-out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon. Of the Gordon family. Went to high school with us. But, uh, well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, was the county judge, so for us, that's pretty high society. Hmm. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pa paid off the school, but, ah, he wasn't a bad athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh, a real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. Poor farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback. Shit, what kind of contest was that? Hey, who wouldn't want all this? And yet, when I came home, there she was. Where was Gary? He served too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. Star quarterback had some health exemption. Didn't get drafted. Więc, taki pierwszy smaczek.